Hello everyone, what's going on? It is Jameson here. Today I am doing another rate episode. Yeah, yesterday I made a rating episode of um, 3D Mario games. This one is going to be about my YouTube channel. This, all of these are all the different series that I have made in my channel, Adventures of Jameson and Jaden. So as you can see, we got Mario, Minecraft Mario Odyssey, Minecraft Luigi's Mansion 3, Minecraft Sonic Unleashed, Minecraft Mario Sunshine, Minecraft Merry Christmas, Minecraft Mario Bros. U Deluxe, Minecraft DK, uh, DK Country, Minecraft Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Minecraft Super Mario, Minecraft Luigi's Mansion 3 Remake, then Dimension Crash, and then after that we're going to rate my YouTube channel. Um, to see, because I'm going to rate how, what I think of how good my channel is, because I'm not that good like other YouTubers, but I do say I'm good myself. If you disagree, um, that's your opinion. Anyway, guys, so we got bad, meh, okay, good, great. So that's how it works. So I, ju I just like put one of these and I just put it in a box. It's that simple. So that's how I rate it. Now, let's get started with our first one. The first one we got is Minecraft Mario Odyssey. Now, that series was probably a pretty bad series because that was me and my brother's first ever year creating a... A series so we had no idea how it works we knew nothing about youtubing it all started um basically one day me and my brother pretended to have a youtube channel we just used like a camera just recorded ourselves sometimes we showed it to our dad and then our dad just turned it into a channel like i think it was impressive enough to impress my dad to put on a channel for me and my bro so which means he might have thought that it was pretty good for a starter but i didn't think it was that much we did not use any editing. It was, it really was not best. And every time, uh, we didn't know what to do, So, but I knew some of it, so I always had to whisper to my brother what to do, which was very, very sad. But nowadays, like, around here, we don't do that anymore, which is amazing. Because we're just doing our own stuff, not completely copywriting video games. So Mario Odyssey, I would say, was not that good. I would give it a meh. Because... I mean, we did have skin packs, we had the world, um, our builds, well, my builds was not that impressive, they were kind of little mini versions of, like, Cascade Kingdom, or Cap Kingdom, or any of those things, so it was pretty, pretty sad. So, I would give it a meh. Now, the Luigi's Mansion 3 series, I would say that was actually a pretty good series. We used zombies as the ghosts, which I didn't think was that genius, it we thought of it as, like, zombie ghosts. It's ghosts that look like zombies, so that's what we thought of it. Um, I also built the whole mansion. It was, you, there was barely any detail, because it was just, it looked like a long, just, pole. Or it looked like a long stick. So it was pretty, pretty sad. But, and you could clearly see the whole entire gra uh, flat grassland. It, that was really disappointing. And the voice acting was not the best, so I would say this could be a meh as well. I would say this would be a meh as well. I would say Mario Odyssey was a little bit worse than the Luigi Mansion, because I did do better building, um, I had better building skills, because I built, like, the entire mansion on the inside. It was kind of a hard challenge, but it didn't look believable enough. It just looked like a new noob1234 built it. Because, but nowadays I'm pretty good at it, I think. Yeah. So, now we got Minecraft Sonic Unleashed. So, that series was okay. Um, so, me and my brother, we had the Sonic skin pack. We got Werehog Sonic, but we also got Sonic. And my brother had Chip, which was like Gaia. We got him. It looked pretty good. So, I actually think it was pretty good because we... Uh, I built the levels, uh, the, pl the locations, I built it all, and we were able to play on them and fight opponents. But either way, if I last remember, I was spawning in these monsters on camera, so you guys can literally see me right-clicking and, and spawning in the minions, not just them magically appearing. So basically, I'm the world's biggest liar. 
that was a lie. Please don't tell your parents that. All right, anyway, so we, Minecraft Sonic Unleashed was kind of okay because of the locations. They did look a little believable. I did have some music in the background, which I thought was genius. I did not with Mario Odyssey or Luigi's Mansion. So this was actually my first ever series with having music. So I will put in the okay. All right, next we got S Super Mario Sunshine. This was actually not bad, not bad at all. Since they already had a Super Mario Sunshine area built in the Mario Light mashup pack, um, I thought that was perfect to use to our advantage because I thought it would look trash when I built it. But there, but the Super Mario Sunshine build in the Mario mashup place, it was actually pretty, pretty neat. So I built a few things. My favorite build was probably the Mecha Bowser and the gigantic Bowser inside like that pot. The flying pod above the volcano. Like the final battle scene. That was pretty sweet. So we had voice actors. We had scenes. Uh, barely. But it all did work out. Um, I was Mario with the with flood on my back. It was pretty neat. We did all the boss battles. The sad thing is we did, my brother wasn't in the videos. My brother could have been in the skin of like Peter Piranha or something. And I had to fight Peter Piranha instead of a statue of Peter Piranha that looked like trash. But but I would say it was a little bit better because because of, because I kind of cheated a little. I would put in in good because the Super Mario Sunshine location it looked magnificent because I literally borrowed the Super Mario Sunshine location on the Mario Matchup place. So either way, I'm just this is still gonna put in in good even though I kind of cheated for that. Now, my, uh, Merry Crisp the Minecraft Merry Christmas series, that was actually pretty, pretty good. My Santa impression, absolute trash, because when I started speaking in full sentences, I lost my Santa Claus voice, and then I just sounded like this. Yeah, I, I, that's exactly it. I was sounding like that instead of, oh, 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 I'm Santa Claus, and I will give you presents and cookies and other things. So, yeah, I, that was kind of the first sad thing. The fir The second sad thing was... It wasn't much of a Christmas thing because we pretended that there was this portal land and we teleported it everywhere. We teleported to Disney World. We teleported to Mario. We teleported to um, other things. And it wasn't that much Christmassy. The only thing that was Christmassy about is that Santa Claus was there. Also, Sonic the Hedgehog teleported to the Merry Christmas World because of the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie. That was kind of sad. Uh, but I did think it was kind of okay. Um wasn't much Christmassy, but we did have like a Christmas world built and it looked amazing. Yeah, Santa Claus's house um in there. Sorry about that, fellas. So the Santa house that I built, I actually think that was probably the best build. That was a really neat build. I had a lot of detail in there. So over the years I've been getting better. So I would say that this was actually a great series. Um even though the voice acting was not good. Um even though the voice acting was not that great um i still would put it in good because that was kind of the only pro well there was actually two problems so actually nah, i'm just gonna put it in good Be well we did have the grinch which was amazing we also had rudolph and uh buddy the elf so we could not miss those out because buddy the elf from that movie elf uh, we got rudolph from the movie rudolph the red nosed reindeer and we also got the grinch from the grinch franchise movies so we did not leave a single christmas movie out actually i bet we missed out like a billion yeah we missed out on Col polar not Polar express we missed out on polar express we missed out on that but there is no train in minecraft so yeah but so that's why i'll put it in good next we got mario bros u deluxe so that was actually a not bad series even though i literally was myself and i was wearing a mario di uh, leather dyed suit which was the worst thing about the series but it still worked out. I got my voice. I had the locations built, which I which worked out for me. So I actually thought this was a pretty good thing. I don't think there was anything too bad about it. I would say it was actually pretty neat. Uh, so we got the boss battle. We got um, everything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got everything, just except for the skins. You guys would have been more excited for the skins than anything else, but... Next, we got DK Country. So that game is a little bit old. Not the first ever DK Country game. This was like Donkey Kong Country Returns. That's what it was. Donkey Kong Country Returns. That's what this was. 
that was actually a pretty good series. I built the entire um, DK jungle. Now that, that was fire. That was amazing. I do say so myself. Because that was definitely the largest build I've ever built out of all these series. Yeah, most detailed probably. Even though I was still spawning in the minions and stuff like that, the mobs. But the final battle really had my heart in it. Because I had music in the background, Fury Bowser music, oh, it went super well. We blew, we blew him up, just like in the video game, his hands blew up. Which was awesome because he ate the bananas and his hands blew up. And the bananas fell everywhere, which I thought was pretty, pretty cool. So I would actually say this was great. Even though Diddy Kong wasn't mostly with me, which was my brother. He wasn't mostly with me, but I still had everything under control. Next, we got Kirby and the Forgotten Land. That was actually a pretty good series. Oh, also why Kirby and the Forgotten Land was happening, while that was happening. Uh, we did Easter. We did an Easter episode la uh, last two years? No, last year. Yeah, last year we made an Easter video, which... Turned out pretty well for Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Alright. So I would say it was good because we got all the locations built. We got the voice acting. Um, actually, same thing from Merry Christmas. Uh, while I was talking in sentences, I lost Kirby's voice. And I was just talking like this. So that really was not good. But the builds, um, I think it was pretty genius. We did scenes by lifting the by the the controller we lifted it up and you, all you saw was black because we had the lights out and then for the next scene which we put the thing back in place which i thought was not best genius that's why it would it could be in probably good but eh, i think it was still pretty good so i actually think i would put it in good I actually think it was pretty good. We also got the skins. We got Banana D, which he looked amazing. We got Kirby, which he looked amazing. So I thought everything turned out good. Um, I, I think I did use a little bit of music a few times. I don't remember. Now we got Minecraft Super Mario. Now this was definitely, I, I should agree, my favorite and my best series that I made. Even though I literally just canceled it completely like a few days ago so or maybe a week ago or two weeks ago i have no idea i'm short term memory loss all right anyway so i would say that series was magnificent we got luigi's mansion there we got kind of paper Mar super paper mario in there we got um what else did we have we had yoshi's island in there we got um what else did we get dang it we got a lot of other things in there. We also played some mini games. We did, oh, a little Benny and the Ink Machine thing. I think that was pretty fun. So, yeah. But we got a lot of things put in there. In one whole series. A bunch of Mario games put into one whole series. I think that was a little bit genius. And the world I built, best build of my life. Best build of my life. Definitely. A hundred percent, though. This should be like in legendary, but no, all we got is great. So I'm just gonna put it there. It it had everything. It had everything. It had music. It had skins. It had locations. It had it all. So I give that one a bunch of credit. Now Luigi's Mansion Three Remake. It was the worst thing ever. Now do you want to know why? The location, perfectly detailed. The details! The details! But, but, we, we only, we didn't do the whole series. We didn't do it all. I don't know, re I don't remember why we didn't do the whole Luigi's Mansion thing. Because we did Luigi's Mansion, uh, we did our first Luigi's Mansion series right here. Then we were gonna do, like, a Luigi's Mansion plush a thing then we were gonna do a luigi's mansion in real life then we were gonna do this a luigi's minecraft luigi's mansion remake too much luigi's mansion we felt like we were doing too many luigi's mansion stuff because we're planning to do for a spoiler if you guys do not want to hear this spoiler skip this part skip it but for those people who do want a spoiler let me tell you so we eventually are gonna do a luigi's mansion dark moon series 
which means we were going to do Luigi's Mansion, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, and four different Luigi's Mansion 3s. So there were, we had Luigi's Mansion 3 uh, right here. Then we had Real Life Luigi's Mansion 3. Then we had Plush Edition Luigi's Mansion 3. And then we had Luigi's Mansion 3 Remake. We just went with L Minecraft Luigi's Mansion 3 Remake. But that was too much Luigi's Mansion. So we just completely got rid of it. So I rated it bad. I mean, I should put it in the meh because the detailing of the building, it was magnificent. But so that I'm probably going to put it in a meh. I mean, I should put it in bad. We literally did one episode this series had a bunch of episodes which i was proud of turned it in complete series but this no it was just one episode out of one series it's not the best work dimension crash this was this series came from my head it was my dream into a reality so basically i've been having dreams about something like this happening dimensions of all my favorite imaginations are my favorite video games or my favorite movies they all came to the real life world and they all need to get back and i was gonna help my my heroes my video game movie heroes whatever so don't judge me for that but and apparently i thought i could definitely make it real if i put it into minecraft minecraft can make all of your dreams come true so if you put your mind into it so i thought this was awesome so Definitely, I have to rate it, like, in front of all this. It was top. It was, like, top. Well, actually, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to rate it in the great. Some YouTubers might mean that this is, like, um, the worst great. But, and this is the best great. But I don't care about that. I'm just going to put it in the great. This, there should be a legendary, and I'll put this in legendary. Same thing with the Minecraft Super Mario. It was great. No, not great. It was, well, yeah, it was great right here. Now... We are now going to rate my YouTube channel. This is going to be hard. I've been working hard. But ever since uh, Dimension Crash came around, I've been, I've been getting these editing softwares, and it's made my channel grow and get better. But all this, um, it was pretty good. Good, pro good progress. Uh, this was probably the, not the greatest, but yeah. Anyway... So this, um, I would have to say, this, I would have to say, sorry, not this, but this, <sighs> this is going to be hard, but I'm going to have to put it in a good, you want to know why, ladies and gentlemen, I'm putting it in good, because, if you guys think I should put it in great, or okay, or mad, or bad, I'm putting it in good. For all those who said good, then you voted good. Alright, so I put my channel there because I feel like my channel is just not the greatest channel that has ever lived. Because there are many other YouTubers out there that are ten times better than me, but I try to be like them because they make me, because they inspire me to tr do something like this, so... I thought it could help me have, like, maybe an actual main thing in life. Because all I had in life was mostly just my, um, the only thing special about me was, there was, I didn't really have a big thing going on. But until I got my channel, I actually felt like I literally had something to do. I had something. So, I decided to use it. So, I just am going to put it in good because I'm not as good as those other YouTubers out there. So I just decided to put this in good because I think my channel is pretty good. I've been working hard. So that's that concludes it. I've rated everything in my YouTube channel. See you guys in the next episode. Bye.